Well, hello and welcome to my series of videos on how to win a spot fire. So one of the main functions for a data analyst is being able to prepare a data set, right? So this usually involves tasks like uh, join tables or replacing null or empty values with zeros or calculating new columns or so on. So today we have three different data tables from three different data sources that are representing data coming from a marketing project uh, for a smartphones promotions. So the data that you will see right now represents, for example, customer data, uh, meaning I will have 100,000 customers uh, with information like uh, where are they from, uh, what is the age of the customer, and so on. Then we will have information regarding orders, uh, meaning who has been ordering uh, what and how many of those in a period of time. So you can tell this is a second table with less than 10,000 rows and 26 columns that also has a customer ID that I will use to create a joint, but at the same time it's giving me different information. And in this uh, opportunity we have quantities of a specific uh, model or product name that was bought. And then we have our third table that is coming from the search log. And this table is giving me information regarding number of clicks that one specific customer has been uh, doing uh, in our website. And from here, we want to target uh, one specific uh, phone. So we're going to simplify this table and aggregate it and summarize it so we can answer our second question. So what is the goal today? We will have only one table as a result. And in that one table, we want to keep the total population, which is 100,000 clients. And we want to add two columns to answer two questions. Column number one is going to answer this question, who has been buying our projects and how many? And that will come from the orders table. And then the second column will answer the second question, who has been clicking on one specific model uh, on our website, and that is going to come from our search log table. Okay, so to start with, we need to uh, take a look of the orders table. And in the orders table, let's ensure that we have all the information that we need to summarize the quantities of this data. So we do have a customer ID, we do have an item quantity. So it's very easy to just use a cross table here ensure that you are using the table that you should be using in this case is orders and in this uh, specific summary we want to see how what uh, they are buying and how many phones they are buying so when i say they we are talking about our customers and the customer id are, is representing that and we want to know how many they are buying so we want quantities here so if we quickly sort these we can see that we have uh, our customer ID 79657 buying 10 phones in the period of time that we have data for. Now, if you want to see what they are buying, you can easily just create a details visualization on the cross uh, table here and see that 10 actually was five phones on a, a specific day on 27, and then we have uh, two phones another day and a different order id and yada 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 so if we click in any of the customer ids we will see exactly what that bought so pretty much we have the first answer so who has been buying our products and how many now we want to add that as part of the main table and to do so we will just need to recreate this summary as a table so we can use that column to be added in our master table. So to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and add a data table, but the data table is going to come from something that we already have in our dashboard. And in this specific case, it's going to be a new data table, but needs to be transformed. And it needs to be transformed in a way where we can see exactly this data. So we already did the summary. We know what we need. We need the customer ID to be the row identifier. And we need the item quantity to be 
the value that is being aggregated and the way that we are aggregating this is a sum because we want the total so as you can tell this table is already representing what we did here so what we want to do with this is being able to use it right so now we have a table that is orders yes but is aggregated so we aggregated so we now can use this table and add a column on our main table, right? So how are we gonna do that? We are gonna go to the data canvas here and we wanna ensure that we are working with the right table, which is customers. And we wanna append that new column that we just created using the transformed table orders, right? So just ensure that uh, the customer ID is being used for the joint, customer ID, customer ID. We are also doing a left uh, outer joint to ensure that we maintain the length of the table. We wanna keep our 100,000 users here. And therefore the expected results are being highlighted here when you do have data for 100,000 customers, but not all of them have been buying products. So these empty values are expected and we do know who has been buying how many of our products here. So that is going to be great uh, to append that. And now we just want to see it. Let me let me check it out. So I want to go back to my original problem. And if I uh, maximize this table and if I go to the end of the table, you are going to see that uh, column here. Just notice that if you don't see this column right away, just go to properties and ensure that you have this add new columns automatically box checked. Because if you don't, the columns that you add are going to remain on this uh, uh, side and they're not going to be visible. OK, so now, uh, in addition to that, I recommend to be very organized with the naming convention and so on. So in the column properties, I will just uh, change the name of these and I will just say something like how many. So we know exactly uh, which question we are trying to answer. OK, so now uh, let's go ahead and uh, do a very similar process. Uh, this time we want to know who has been clicking around on a very specific uh, cell model. So who has been clicking on this cellular model? And uh, we have the information coming for the search log. So very, very similar to what just did. I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight to the table. I just created it. And I do have a summary of uh, everything that we need. I'm gonna uh, show you the table. It is called who has been clicking on the specific model that we want. And once again, we can sort it. We can see that we have the customer ID. We have the answer that we were looking for. All we need to do is to add this as a column in our main table. To do so, we go to our canvas and we continue to append columns here. So I'm gonna add a column. In this specific case, it's gonna come from my second table uh, that has the search log. And this is telling me, hey, you may want to check it out because the um, name convention may be giving you an issue here. So how are you going to add the match? It is customer ID with customer ID, but notice how the two different data sources had different naming convention, uppercase, lowercase, little line in between, no little line in between. You're going to run into these scenarios all the time. So it is always good to check it out and ensure that you are joined the tables the what you think that you are enjoying the tables now the join is still a left join meaning i keep the length of the big master table which is 100,000 clients and i am just adding the two columns to answer the questions that i need to answer so as soon as i click okay and okay we can just click the canvas and go back to my main page where i can maximize my customer data and see how i now have two extra columns that are providing me with the answers that I was looking for. Now, uh, if you want to use this data set to be model and stuff, you don't want to deal with these empty values. You may want to replace these nulls and empty values with zeros. And to do so, 
I'm just going to go ahead and create a calculated column. You have different ways to do so. I'm just going to do it uh, the way that I'm very familiar with. I'm going to create a calculated column. And in that calculated column, I'm just going to create a formula. So all I'm doing here is asking if the cell for the column, how many is empty or null, then please provide a zero. If not, just maintain whatever value is there. And I'm going to call this something like uh, how many, and then I'm going to say this is the clean version of it. So uh, we can know exactly uh, what are we doing here. So I'm just going to say here, this is clean. Okay. So in the exact same way, I create the second formula and I'm just going to rename it here as clicks for the specific um, phone that we were asking. Okay, click OK. Okay, and now we have a clean data set and just uh, for nice presentation purposes, just remove the ones that still show empty values. Um, so it's gonna look better. And now you have a table that has everything you need you maintain the 100,000 rows here, which is the current uh, client population, and then you add the two extra columns that are answering. Let me just uh, make this bigger so you can read that are answering the two questions that we needed to answer. So how many products on a specific client has bond? You can sort this and see you have your 10 here for the client that we were looking at. And we can also see that he clicked once on that specific phone uh, as that is part of the offerings that we have in our website. So that answers the two questions that we wanted to answer and that shows you a little bit of the data wrangling manipulation that you can do quickly in Spotfire to clean and prepare a data set to go ahead and continue your analytics flow and use it for uh, model creation.